Hey everyone, today we're going to uncover using OneNote on the iPad. If you are a first time user of digital planning or just getting excited to start the new year, we are going to go through our digital planner and how to utilize OneNote on an iPad. If you use your iPad for other journaling or note taking, by all means, take a look at this video. We're going to cover some pro tips and show you how to maximize your experience with OneNote on the iPad. So stay with me. our application called OneNote on the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is just one of many devices that OneNote works on. If you have an iPad mini, if you have an iPad Air, or you even have Windows devices, OneNote works on all of them and allows you to sync your planning, your journaling, your note taking across all those devices simultaneously. The experience of the app is slightly different but the intents and the context behind it are all the same. So the first thing we're gonna show you is the navigation. On the far left side here, you're gonna see all your different notebooks. Maybe for you, you might only have one or two, and for others, you might have many. What allows you to have so much power and interest in OneNote is it very much is like a binder. It allows you to build sections, tabs, and sort pages amongst your planning experience. So instead of having a huge wall of binders behind you, you now have a digital tablet in front of you that you can go through and maximize your journaling and note taking experience. You can use that tab to jump into different sections. Today we're gonna to jump into January and jump into the fourth. You have a couple options where you can go ahead and maximize the screen. So if you want that full screen support, right up here you can do that in OneNote. What's also nice about that, if you're not full screen, it shows you still a section of your tab. So you can easily jump from one day to the next day and look at your different days pretty easily by doing so. The first thing people always ask me is how is the handwriting experience in the planner? Now up across the top, you have your different tools. So you have the ability to make pencils, pens, highlighters, and choose different colors. You can even customize those colors if you choose to. So you can really make your planner colorful and just highlight a lot of different things. You also have the ability to adjust the size. So you can click here and you can look at different sizes. And also what's really awesome about the Apple Pencil, it is pressure sensitive. So you can easily adjust to your writing, as you can see slightly there. If you listen real closely, it sounds like paper. I use a paper-like matte screen cover that really helps me cut down on glare and gives a little bit of friction on the glass and it greatly improves my planning experience. In the description of this video, you can see a link to the cover that I use for my screen. But one thing that comes up, like I said, is actual note-taking. I can go in here and I can write, Tom likes grilled cheese, which grilled cheese comes up in a lot of our videos. I am from Wisconsin. We love our cheese. So you can easily go ahead and you can handwrite. You can also go ahead and you can highlight just like such. Now, if I want to go ahead and race, I can come in here and I can just go ahead and erase the notes that I choose to. I can also use the lasso tool and I can select and move notes. This becomes a big important tool, especially when you look at your daily task. So I had all these daily tasks. I'm gonna choose my lasso tool, copy those by hitting copy, move to the next day, select the text tool, Tap and hold and hit paste, and then move those daily tasks wherever I would like them. You can also go back and erase the task maybe that I completed in the previous day. The next big question is how does typing work in the planner and in OneNote? Well, we'll go back to here 
and we'll select Type Tool. And now if you guys have a keyboard or some type of um, portfolio that has a keyboard integrated in with it, this experience is phenomenal. Maybe you want to use the keyboard on the screen, you can do so as well. I'm just going to go ahead and type Tom likes grilled cheese. And I can take my finger then and I can slide that text box wherever I want. I can go ahead and make the container of that text box longer. And where that's really cool is I can come in and I can keep typing. And it'll know that when it gets to the end of that container, it'll jump down to the next line. I can even go ahead and return several lines and the screen will move with me and I can keep typing. So that is a really huge feature when you're using uh, the planning system in OneNote is you can easily get from different sections. You can also go ahead and highlight those sections as you need to. The other thing that's really nice about OneNote is you have the ability to add shapes. So maybe you want to put in a shape to convert your text to shape. So if I click on this right here, I can draw a square and then it'll resize those shapes and I'll put a circle inside of it. And then you can use that lasso tool to make those shapes smaller, move them, make them larger, place them over top of each other. When it comes to being able to expand this like a binder, you're gonna to want to insert more pages and more templates throughout our planning system. And you can do so really easily by jumping back and moving to templates. And say you wanna grab more notes. You can click and hold, checkbox, hit copy, and then you could go into the section that you wanna paste those notes. So first quarter in January, and now if I jump into my first quarter in January and slide to the bottom, my note page is there. But maybe I wanna have that note page under a particular date. I can do that and slide that up to where I would like it. I can even then promote that page or sub-promote that page, depending on how I want that page to stand out. You can also take a page and you can select it and hit delete and I'll delete it from your planner. One thing that comes up a lot of times, people ask me a couple things is how do I share some of my notes? A lot of times what I'll do sometimes, maybe I have somebody I wanna have them see my calendar or see my page. I can come in here with my page, click the little share button, hit send copy of page, and then send with another app. And then from here, I can open up an email. I could print it. But if I open up an email, what it'll actually do is it'll embed that planner page as a PDF file that I can send to somebody. I can also take this page and I can send it to my printer if I have an air printer, or if you have another Apple computer, you can easily airdrop it to that device. I use this all the time, especially with some of my notations. And with our team planner, it's really huge because you can actually share out different schedules that you have written up. Guys, OneNote is a powerful tool, it's great. And if you're using our planner, I know you're gonna find success in the coming year. No matter where you are in your journey, hit the like button, follow our page, and learn more and discover more about digital planning and using your iPad with OneNote. I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Keats Success Planning System, and I thank you for tuning in. Hit me up in the comments, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Until we see each other again. Hey everyone, using OneNote for the very first time. Today I'm gonna to show you some pro tips on how to use the application on your iPad and get the most out of it for digital planning and you know I'm gonna have about I'm gonna go through this whole can before I even get started on the video. Good thing I duct taped it though because we don't have any brand identity. Thank you.